Okay, today in Adobe Illustrator, we are going to learn about align and distribute. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new document. Um, we're also going to take a look at our next assignment, which is going to be to trace a guitar. So we're going to do that in just a few minutes too. So let's name this one align and distribute. And click OK. All right, let's make uh, some rounded rectangles. Um, it doesn't matter what color. And make them about that big. All you need is one. One shape. Okay, let's go to a win. Let's go to window align. Window align. And on the align tab, you may need to go over and click on the options button and click on show options. So options, show options. <laughs> Alright, the first thing you can do with your alignment, and I'm going to exit out all these other little tabs here, just to uh, save some space. The first thing you can do with your alignment is Control-R. Let's do that. Control-R. That's a new key command. Check that out. What does that do? Brings up the ruler. So, if you remember when we started our document, the document size was 8.5 by 11, okay? And so, my document is landscape, and so mine is actually 11 inches wide by 8.5 inches high, okay? Um, and we're going to go over the ruler and all that kind of stuff later on in the semester. Um, we're going to learn about measuring and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show you where that was because you may want to use it uh, when it comes to aligning and stuff like that. Another thing you can do is if you go to um, uh, actually it's still under window align and where did it go? Let me see if I can go back to window yeah I'm looking for the transform is there yeah window transform there we go. If you click on an object, no matter what it is, it'll tell you the exact width and height of that object. And that X and Y will tell you the location of that object. You guys see where I'm at? Okay. So the W is the width, the H is the height. So it, we can type in this section here and we can change our shape to be whatever we want it to be, whatever size. So let's go ahead and type in the width to be one and the height to be one. So click on your shape, click on transform, and you got the width and the height. Some other stuff you can do in there, you can rotate the object around. You can also change its angle as well. And this is like the little shear. So if I want to put a little slant on it, I can do that. But we don't want to do that right now. Okay, so you got some options as far as your height and your width. You got the ruler. So for those of you who are very technical, this will work out for you really well. Don't forget, you can always still go to uh, View, Show Grid, and if you set up your settings along with us at the beginning of Illustrator, we use one inch by one inch grids in here. Cool. 
So now that we got a one inch by one inch object and I used a rounded rectangle, it really doesn't matter what you used. Uh, let's hold down Alt and drag out a few copies. So I made one, two, three, four, five. I made five copies and mix them up. like that okay so now you can select all these objects you can either do control A because that's the only thing on our uh, artboard right now or if you're using the black arrow you can swipe over and make a selection that touches those objects and that's probably the fastest way so make a selection touch those objects now if you go to your align palette There's a couple different things you can do. There's a lot of alignments you can do. Probably the one that we use the most is this one, Vertical Align Center. And if you take a look on the Align Palette, it shows you a little icon of what that align will do. So there you go, Vertical Align Center. The next row is the Distribute. And then the bottom row is the Distribute Spacing. And the one we use most often is the horizontal or vertical distribute space. So click on that horizontal distribute space. Okay. Two clicks of a mouse, perfectly aligned, perfectly distributed. Now what you can do is control G on your keyboard. That makes it a group, right? Now, if you hold down Alt on your keyboard, you can drag out a copy of that group. If you hold down Alt and Shift at the same time, it will keep the alignment of that group. It won't keep the distribution, but it'll keep the alignment. So that's Alt and Shift. But because they're grouped together, I can select these groups now and I can still use my distribute to distribute the spacing in between those groups. And this can literally go on and on and on and on. Now, let's do this. Control A on our keyboard. Let's delete everything. And let's just make another shape. It doesn't matter what the size is this time. It doesn't matter what the size is, but kind of make it a little smaller so you can see the effect a little better. Okay. If you want an object that's perfectly in the middle of your paper, take a look up at the board. You need to check this button here, Artboard. And this is the Align to Artboard button. So now, when that button is checked and you use your Align functions, it's going to use the center of your paper the center of your page as the alignment. So if I click here, uh, for example, on this one, horizontal align center, it's going to horizontally align it in the center of my page. And that's this button here, align to artboard. And then if I want it down in the exact middle, I would need to do this one, vertical align center as well. So you do both horizontal and vertically align to center and that's right smack dab in the middle of my page and it doesn't matter how many shapes you have selected 
I'm gonna make a star and change the color. As long as this artboard button is selected, I can align it to the middle of my document. Now, that can be cumbersome if you're drawing a cartoon character um, and you're trying to align objects to one another, but you don't necessarily want it in the middle of the page. So make sure you uncheck that Align to Artboard button. when you go do some other alignments. So check it out. I've selected my star and my circle. Now I can align them on the side. I can align them in the center.